When would you say a patient should take them? I know it's a big question here, and what are the differences? When a patient should take them is, again, when they are unable to fulfill their mm -hmm. daily life, when they can't go to work because of the panic. Um, you know, somebody, perhaps like Teresita's patient who, who couldn't leave because of the trauma of the thing that happened, you know, and, and she couldn't leave to get into her car. Well, you know, there's some point where medications are necessary. And so the different medications would be things like the SSRIs, you know, like Prozac or Lexapro, something like this, um, uh, gabapentin, you know, medications that really target those neurotransmitters. Um, there is a place still for things like Xanax and Ativan, and those are for very short moments. In order for us to get these long, term medications on board and for them to work, which sometimes can take, you know, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, you know, you've got to do something about the panic that the person's having. You have mm -hmm. to do something about the performance anxiety that they're having. So small doses of these benzodiazepines can help. So there, there is a place for them. It's, it's important to note that you can wean off these medications because a lot of people are sometimes just a little reserved, but you can wean off. Well, what I tell the patients, and you know, we work in tandem, Dr. Rohaidi, uh, we in the care and counseling, we work in tandem, and you know, you might just need it for a reason and a season, not a lifetime. Oh, I like that. So, you know, if if you need to take um, some other medication, like for your heart rate or something. People are good with that. So, okay, so you need this because something's going on and we want to address it in the safest way, being managed by the psychiatrist and uh, with the talk therapy, and it can be done. It can. We, we don't have to be ashamed and we don't have to fear it.